Another big request I've had is how do you catch walleye in these big river systems like the Columbia? So many people and I've showed them but I really got to focus in today uh, with the uh, GoPro and show people how to catch walleye. Again, critical setup, full sink line, short leader and various patterns. I'm going to show you colorful patterns. You know, walleye love the greens, the purples. Uh, I've got this one here that I've kind of blown up. But this is my new little my little uh, jig fly. Not even a jig, but I call it the gigolo. You know, it's just a killer. It just imitates small bait fish. Very effective. But yeah, got to be on the bottom for walleye and right on the seam edges. And I'll show you that. So, it's walleye fishing. Big, big rivers today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Cool. So for walleye, here's the uh, fly I showed you. Little jiggle, a new one I like to use. Short leaders. So that's all. Like three to four feet max of, you know, 12 pound test, plural. Something heavy, right to your fly line. Now the critical part, again, the most important thing is your fly line. This is a, a actually a type seven. It's a fast sinking. It's an airflow line, it's really fast sink. It gets you down like a rock to the bottom and you want to be down the bottom, especially in these, these flatter runs. You can see I'm actually fishing a run, but it goes into a nice pocket. Walleye love the deeper water pockets, you know, eight, 10, 12 feet. If you can see down the bottom and you get a nice little gravel or even rocks, even sandy bottoms into rocks, they love that. They love to sit off the le ledges and grab stuff. So I'm going to take a few casts. Nice thing about this fly, not too radical. I'll get some rainbows too, potentially, out in the faster water. And then when I let it go real deep down through the holes, I'll get the walleye. So I'll start with a, with a gigolo. And if I have to, I'll change over to my uh, purple rabbit after. One of my favorite places to fish are back in. So you can see the, the main flow is out there. And now there's a nice back eddy seam through here. So what I'm going to try to do is let my fly line and cast across in the back eddy. Let it sink down to those rocks, and then you'll see I'm just going to keep my rod tip low and just slowly strip it back. You might hit bottom the odd time, you might lose the odd fly, but you got to be prepared for that when you're walleye fishing. So I'm going to move back and take a few more, let it really sink, and see if we can get one in this run. usually do a count too. I'll count to you know five to ten depending if I'm hitting bottom or not just to make sure I'm down and then slow strip back. Big key here too is rod tip in the water. You can see my rod tip is right in the water. Keep it down there because as soon as you feel pull back you can set the hook. The other big key with walleye is once you find them, usually there's four or five sitting there with them. So once you get one, you're going to get a couple more. There we go. There we go. Oh, right. Oh, he hit right on the, right on the way up. Oh, he wanted it. There he is there. So right in that, right in that calm back, Eddie. Oh, gee, he really... He really inhaled it. He wanted it. I'll hold him up. I just like to grab him behind the gill there because we're going to keep him. There is there a small one, but you know, it's a good starter fish. I'm going to keep them all because they're invasive and they're great eating. So that's a start. I'll try to show a little more. I mean, we should get a couple more in here.
Okay, let's see if we can get one on the hook up here again. I know they're in here. I'm, I'm getting hit steady too. So. And sometimes when you're getting hits, change up the fly. I've, I've got my little jiggle on now, but you know that purple and pink really works good with the rabbit. So they keep nibbling in this, I might change flies. Oh, man. There's another one. I got hit. Oh, and I lost it. Oh, right on the edge of that fly. Ah! Ah! I don't like to lose them. Usually they really inhale it. But that guy I just had on the lip, I felt them biting right at the end. So I've cast out again. I found a little hole where I've uh, hooked, landed one now, just hooked another. So again, so critical, rod tip in the water. Don't have it up here, have it in the water. And short, short little strips. Just wait, it'll feel, it's almost like when you hit bottom, it feels like you've hit bottom. And then just slip, set, or pull. I usually just pull with my line when I feel them, just to set them up and hook them. There it is, just like that. I just felt them, I just felt them take it. And then I just slip set and make sure I hook them. And here's another, oh, this will be a good one too. Nice, oh, this one's better. Nice eater. And all I did, oh, he just took it. This guy is just barely. Oh, there he is now. Look at that. That's a nice wally. Look at that. Look where he, look where he took it. Right on the, right on the top lip. I mean, he's just barely hooked on the top. Oh, and there it is. Fly came out. There's a wally. I'll just hold him up. Put the one right away. There. Oh, nice walleye. And never, never hold them by there. You can see those spines are pretty nasty. So always grab them underneath. There's another nice walleye. I found a nice hole. And I'll show everybody the technique again in a sec. So a quick run through again in case you missed it at the beginning. There's a fly. I mean, I use purples, pinks. I use the booby walleye. Little wallinators, real big booby eyes on it, big and purple. This one I found though has been a winner as of late. It's uh, what I call the gigolo. Heavy pound test, you know, 12 to 15 pound test. They're not leader shy to my fly line, so maximum four feet, four to five feet max. Then I have my fly line. And what you want, again, I've told everybody numerous times the fastest sinking line you can find. I mean, a type six isn't bad. It gets you down there, but look online, try to get, you know, a uh, scientific angler has a type 7, something gets you down there in a hurry, airflow, all these different fly lines, you need a fast sink line, and you got to be near the bottom. So again, I'm going to cast out. I know there's fish here, I've already landed a couple that had one on. I'm casting into the back eddy, letting it sink, so I'm doing about, right now I'm doing about a 10 count. Got about 10 seconds letting that fly line get to the bottom. It's sweeping back to the main flow. That's a big key too. It's sweeping back out. And now short little retrieves. Just short, quick little pulls until I feel it tighten. Now when it tightens, it's either going to be the bottom or a fish. And sometimes you'll feel it chase it. They'll just chase the fly. that I had one following it so what I do is when I have a follow I just let it sit make it look like it's wounded it and let it sit and hopefully they come back and get it that guy never did follow it up no nope. so again one more time get as much line out as you can cast it perpendicular to the flow. The flow is going this way, casting perpendicular in the back eddy. Then I'm letting my fly line and fly sweep right to the bottom. Oh, 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 what a good, oh, look at that. <laughs> thought, I had a, thought I had a walleye and I got a little 
the bone. So there you go. With this pattern, you got the walleye and the rainbow. Oh, and a little bowie's gone. Yeah, that's why, that's why I like to use this one because the rainbows, I've got some 24, 25 inch rainbows hit this where we're going next. So not only not only does it catch walleye, it catches the bones too. Darn, I thought that was a walleye. No, oh, well, always nice to get a little bow here and there. Well, last cast, and then we'll head down to the other sections. One thing to note, I always find it best for walleye when it's uh, cloudy out. Right now, we got sun and cloud mixed, but I'm seeing a few more clouds built, so I'm hoping it actually does get a little bit cloudy because they love it when it's cloudy. They are nocturnal, so I think they want that a little bit darker. They tend to get a little more bitey. Right now, they're just just nipping at it. So I'm down to one of my favorite holes. Doesn't look like much in it. They might not stack up in here when the water's this low, but see across the way there's a nice hole over that side. And this forms a nice pocket. So you can see it's pretty shallow right here. But all they need is, you know, eight to ten feet, and it gets a little deeper through that pocket. So they'll sit right along this ledge, all along where that the fast flow meets this back eddy. A lot of times they stack right up in the back. So we'll try it, and if not, we'll just keep working the pockets down until I get to my favorite hole. Pretty shallow, pretty fast. You have to head down one more hole. There's the one, right in the back, right when I got, right when I got into that deeper pocket. I think there might be a few sitting out there now. Oh, and I just, that sun hasn't, the sun hasn't gone down, they're just barely getting hooked. Normally they, normally they really crush it, but I'm just, yikes, barely, oh, come on. Look at that, as soon as I get them in, that fly, the fly is out. And you gotta remember, all rivers in BC are barbless suck. Even though you're fishing for an invasive species, you still have to use a barbless suck. That's a little guy, but you know what? These little guys, they make absolutely wonderful fillets. You know, there's a uh, small wally now. I hold them up here. There he is They're there. just grabbing it right now. They're really not inhaling it. I think that's due to the sun. Every time the sun goes behind a cloud, I get some fish. So I have yet to get down to my favorite hole, or my two favorite holes. And hopefully by then the sun will be down. We'll get some nice walleye. Well, that's a good start. You know, few in the boat. What is that? Oh, that looks like a, a big rainbow or a wall. I can't tell. Oh, man. Can't tell what can't tell what I got here. Something big whacked it. Oh, gee, I think it's a big rainbow. Yeah, oh, it is. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Always fun when you're fishing walleye and you get. You get some big rainbow, and you know there. I thought that might have been a walleye at the start because he was sloshing, but uh, well, once you uh, once you get them, once they know they're hooked, you know it's a big rainbow. Oh, gee! Oh, oh. and I lost him. <laughs> that was a nice rainbow. Oh man! Oh, now little fly. Yeah, this little fly, this little jiggle. It's uh, it's really proven itself. It gets. Uh, rainbow it's called walleye i've used it for brookies it's a good little overall pattern really good i think one day we'll actually go to the bench and tie you that up but i got more fishing to do oh that was a nice rainbow Man. i think this is a walleye this time right on that ledge pretty sure it's a walleye yeah Oh, just barely. Just barely hooked. 
Okay, that's been, oh look at, that has been the day today. Every time I get them in the net, that fly just flings out. They're not taking it very aggressively, but I'm able to get them. Oh, there's another, there's another little wally. That'll make a, a nice flight. Another nice wally. Yeah, they got cool colors to them. Pretty neat little fish. <laughs> right when you think you got another walleye, you go, oh, you get a nice wave. <laughs> ah, can't beat this time of year, you know. I showed you all those techniques to get the walleye. It's the same thing. You know, full sink line with uh, with that new gigolo pattern. Yeah. And the beauty is that this time of year you get the big rainbows too. This one's not as big as the last one, but it's still a nice one. Oh, yeah. there you are, And again, I let all the rainbows go. It's just, uh, you know, these rainbows are so good. I like to get them next year when they get bigger. Oh, you just hit that right on the edge. Oh. There's a nice healthy pole. Oh look at that, flies out. Wow, look at that. Look at the colors of these rainbows right now. Look at how, look at how gorgeous they are. Look at the colors on them. Man, let them go, there he goes. Wow, another beautiful bow. Well, I've got lots of walleye today. I've showed you some techniques. Now I hope everybody has learned from this. You know, I've done numerous shows on walleye fishing, but Everybody keeps asking me. So, again, tail outs of runs, back eddies, any kind of seams where it's a little deeper, you know, 10, 12 foot back eddy seams where this flow goes into a big hole. That's where the walleye sit. They won't be in that super fast water, but they'll sit in those back eddies and those seams. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, we will do more shows on walleye and rainbow and all that other fun stuff. So check out our YouTube channel. Again, people are probably watching it on YouTube. I'll put this on Facebook. And head over to our website. We have our newest series, Series 25, going online right now. It's actually on our member site. And before, you know, three to six months before it airs nationally. So if you want to be the early adopters and see it early, well, sign up for a membership and watch it. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. Take care, conserve waters, and we'll see you next time. We take sport fishing on the fly. COVID stop. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.